Bosnia News. I'm Julie Fortin. The United Nations says it's official. Bosnia and Serb forces have withdrawn from a strategic mountain overlooking the besieged capital of Sarajevo. UN General Francis Brickmont made the declaration after touring Mount Igman today. The withdrawal paves the way for the resumption of peace talks in Geneva on Monday. As they pulled out from nearby Mount Bjelenica, the Serbs left behind permanent scars. Sarajevo is blanketed with smoke from buildings set on fire by Serb forces. They include the 1984 Olympic Village. One UN officer says that's counterproductive. I don't think it's necessary. I think it gives a very bad impression of what the Serbs are doing because you are genuinely withdrawing to try and get the peace talks going in Geneva. 41 victims of the Bosnian War will soon get relief. They are expected to be airlifted from Sarajevo tomorrow to European hospitals for treatment. The operation was inspired by a critically injured girl named Irma. Now the plight of another Bosnian girl is in the forefront. David Chater has the story of Belma. A mother's words of comfort are not enough for her dying child. Four-year-old Belma's meningitis is worsening. She has at best only a few days of life left. She can no longer speak. Her mouth is almost locked open. Ziba Shalaka explained how she fled with her child after the Chetniks attacked her village. Belma contracted hepatitis while trapped outside Sarajevo. The lack of drugs meant that Belma then developed meningitis. She's been in this ward for 15 pain-filled days. Her doctor says she only has two or three days left. The man who heads the UN's medical evacuation committee finally flew into Sarajevo today. Dr. Peo said he didn't even know about Belma's case. And anyway, patients are only given a number, not a name, when their cases are considered. He passionately defended his committee's procedures and attacked many governments over their attitudes this week, saying one in particular had threatened him, but he wouldn't name the country. I hate the supermarket attitude. I call it this way because I don't think Sarajevo is a supermarket where government can come and pick up the cases they want. But the doctor said in response to questions about Belma that she was a deserving case. He saw no reason why she shouldn't be taken out on the British Mercy flight tomorrow. Belma's mother and the medical staff here are praying it won't be too late. David Chater, ITN, Sarajevo. Yeah, UN workers trying to help the Bosnian people have come under attack yet again. An armor-piercing bullet killed an aid worker today as he drove a clearly marked UN vehicle. The UN said it was the first attack of its kind in Vitez, a town in central Bosnia. It's not clear who is responsible. Croats and Muslims are battling for control of the region. 900 British UN troops are based in Vitez.